Hello and welcome to Pavli. So some of the users were facing issues while connecting their Facebook account with Pavli Connect that all the pages which they have in their Facebook account, they don't see those pages inside their Pavli Connect workflow in the drop down. So in this video, we are going to see how you can solve this problem. So here you can see I've selected the Facebook lead ads trigger. I've connected my Facebook account and here in the page drop down, you can see it is showing me one single Facebook page. But in my Facebook account, here you can see I have multiple Facebook pages over here. But I can't see all of these pages inside Pabli Connect even after making a successful connection. Now the potential issue could be while making the connection for the first time, you might have not selected all of these pages for making the connection. And to solve this issue, what you have to do, you have to remove the Pabli Connect app which is installed in your Facebook profile. So when you connect your Facebook account with Pabli Connect for the first time, a Pabli Connect app is installed in the business integration section. And to remove it, you just have to go to the settings section of your Facebook account, go to settings and privacy and go to settings. After coming to the settings page, we will just scroll down from the left sidebar. And here you can see this option of business integration. Under business integration, here you can see this Pabli Connect app. What you have to do, just remove this app once from here. And after removing this app from our Facebook account, we are going to reconnect our Facebook account with Pavli Connect. So we'll go back to a Pavli Connect workflow in the trigger step of Facebook lead ads. I'll just click on this connect button and then just select the add new connection. And we are going to start creating a new connection over here. Let's click on connect with Facebook lead ads in this pop-up window, select your Facebook account. But before selecting it, before continuing with this, click on this edit access button. After clicking on edit access, here you can see we will be having a list of all the Facebook pages which we have in our Facebook profile and with all the permission. So here you have to ensure that you have selected all the permission and all the Facebook pages which you want to connect with Pavli Connect. Let's say with this connection, I want to connect all the Facebook pages. I don't want to exclude any page. So that's why we have selected all the pages over here as you can see. After selecting all the permissions and pages, we will just click on this continue button. And as we click on continue, we will see once again, a Facebook account will get connected with Pavli Connect. And this time we made a new connection. Now, after making this connection and selecting all the pages, you can see in the page drop down, you will get a list of all the pages which you have in your Facebook account over here. You can select your Facebook page and after that, here you can see in the next drop down, you will get a list of all the lead gen forms which you have created for that particular page. So here you can see in the drop down, we have all the lead gen form. Now the second problem which arises that even after doing the same process, even after removing the business integration, selecting the pages and connecting those pages with Pavli Connect, even then in this drop down, they don't get to see that particular Facebook page which they want to use in the Facebook lead ads or Facebook page trigger. So you have basically connected your Facebook page with Pavli Connect, but that particular Facebook page or a few pages are not shown even after that in this drop down of pages. In this case, what you can do, you can just turn this mapping button on in front of it and clear this default value. And after that, you can manually enter the page ID of the Facebook page, which you want to use inside your Pavli Connect automation. So here we turned on the mapping button and we have cleared the default response and you can enter the page ID of the same Facebook page, which you want to use, which you have connected, but not shown in the page drop down. And to get the page ID, just go to your Facebook page. Let me switch to my Facebook page as for example, I'll switch to this page humble cow. And after switching your Facebook page, just go to your home page over here. I'll just go to the home page of my Facebook page. And after coming to here, just go to about. And under about, you can see this page transparency. Just go here. Under page transparency, you can see this page ID. This is the unique page ID of your Facebook page. Just copy the page ID of the Facebook page, which you want to use inside Pavli Connect and paste it over here in this page section after turning on the mapping button. And as you paste it, you will see the same page which we have selected while making the connection, but this page was not shown in the dropdown. The same page will be used, will be accepted in this Facebook lead ads or in Facebook page trigger. And after entering it, here you can see in lead gen forms, you will get a list of all the lead gen form which you have created for this particular Facebook page. In this way, either removing the business integration and reconnecting or by manually entering your page ID after making the successful connection, you can resolve the issue of your Facebook page not appearing inside Pavli Connect even after making the successful connection. 
After manually entering this page ID and selecting the lead gen form, you can continue with your integration or the connection which you want to set up in this Pavli Connect automation workflow. So this was a short video on how you can fix the issue of your Facebook page not showing up inside Pavli Connect. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can email us at support at or post it on our forum over here. Or you can write us in the comment box below too. If you want to check out the pricing of Pavli Connect, you can visit this link. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Pavli. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.